best old cars still on sale? Let's take a look at some old cars that are still on sale today. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I link them down in the comment section. Before continuing with the video, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and a sub would be amazing. Toyota GT86 On sale since 2012, which means around 8 years, it could possibly be the most hotly anticipated sports cars of the decade. The Toyota 86 finally made its showroom debut as a mid-2012 model. The 86 is a collaborative effort with Subaru, and therefore versions are available under both nameplates. In 2018, it got a minor facelift. Available in various trim levels, the front-engine rear-wheel drive car comes with a Subaru-sourced 2-liter 4-cylinder direct injection boxer engine, mated to either 6-speed manual or automatic. For 2014, the base model was dropped in some markets, and there is the GTX trim for the manual now, while the automatic gets VT and VTX trims. Also from the 2016 model year onwards, all trims get the TRD body kit package. Some markets apparently do not offer the manual. The manual transmission model was dropped for 2017 in some more regions. Standard features include clothes sport seats, halogen headlights, fog lamps, CD MP3 stereo with USB and Bluetooth, manual AC, common power accessories and 16-inch alloy wheels with 205 by 55 tires, as well as a stability control system with three modes, ABS, and a full set of front, side, curtain and knee airbags. Most versions get a limited slip differential. Available features in higher trim include auto AC, HID headlights, smart keyless entry with starter button, extra digital speedo, cruise control, and 17-inch alloys with 215 by 45 tires, aside from dealer-installed leather upholstery. Some market gets navigation with the mid-range model, while the top GT model gets a body kit. It is still the best for affordable, reliable, rare drive kicks. Tesla Model S This has also been on sale since 2012. The Tesla Model S is a fully electric sedan, which combines high performance and zero emission. Dropping rear-wheel drive models altogether, all versions are now all-wheel drive with air suspension as standard for 2018. 75D, 100D and P100D with the numbers indicating the size of the battery. The P in the P100D denotes the performance variant. Standard features include power steering, power folding heated side mirrors, LED headlamps, LED fog lamps, automatic keyless entry, 17-inch touchscreen, AM FM radio with Bluetooth and USB, leather seats, reverse camera, Wi-Fi and internet connectivity, a power lift gate and 19-inch alloy wheels. Optional equipment includes self-driving capability, enhanced autopilot, higher quality leather interior, Alcantara, higher quality exterior paint, better sound system and 21-inch alloy wheels. Standard safety features include 6 airbags, collision avoidance, automatic emergency braking, blind spot detection, and lane departure warning. Optional safety features include traffic aware cruise control, auto steer, and auto park. It is still the best for drag racing supercars on YouTube. BMW i3 It has been on sale since 2013. BMW's i range has a set of sales avalanche. The i8 sports car has been killed off and the i3 isn't getting a direct replacement. But thanks to the battery tech evolution, it's now got the twice the range it offered when first released, while its carbon fiber construction is way more advanced than the much newer Mini Electric or Honda e. Then again, they are actually selling quite well. It is still the best for meshing clever EV engineering and brave style. Also in the new i line, the i4 is going to come soon. So let's wait for that. Caterham 7 it has been on sale since 1973, which means 47 years. Caterham's been building 7s since before the Volkswagen Golf existed. And if you count the 7's previous life as Lotus, then this British icon has been scampering along B roads since 1957, which makes it as old as the Frisbee. The Caterham 7 is a lightweight sports car based on an ancient chassis simple enough to build yourself if you wanted to. The 7270 comes in 1.6 liter Ford engine R Pack form with a 5 speed manual, as offered in many regions. The R Pack is more track focused and includes a LSD, sport suspension, a 4 point race harness, and many other race oriented upgrades. 
The 7270 is available in standard narrow body S3 chassis, although a wide body and a 6 speed gearbox can be ordered. The 7360 model adds a 2 litre Ford engine and is offered in R pack wide body form in many regions. The wide body SV chassis benefits from a wider track, front suspension, and a larger fuel tank, with only 25 kg weight gain over the S3 chassis. Finally, the 7420 model adds a higher tuned 2 litre Ford engine. There are no safety features to speak of, aside from a roll hoop and harness belts. It is still the best for basic driving thrills. Dodge Challenger It has been on sales since 2008. The Dodge Challenger received a minor facelift and new engine upgrades in 2015. The interior has been significantly improved as well. The Challenger utilizes retro styling that is largely a rethinking of the original 1970s Challenger's two-door design. The interior gets upgraded with a bit more gadgetry in the form of an 8.4-inch U-Connect infotainment system and a 7-inch customization display between the retro-inspired speedometer and tachometer. A high sill center aluminum gauge bezels make the revamped interior extremely pleasing to the eyes. Through the U-Connect interface, you can now access the all-new Dodge performance pages that allow you to select different driving modes to adjust steering effort engine and transmission response, electronic stability and traction controls, and standard launch control. It can also be optioned with forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross path detection. Sharing its platform, engine, and mechanicals with other full-size rear-wheel drive Chrysler cars, the Challenger can be had with a 3.6-litre V6 or a 5.7-litre V8. The Dodge Challenger SRT gets the 6.4-litre V8, while the SRT Hellcat gets the 6.2-litre supercharged V8 motor. Standard features in the V6 include sporty suspension, cloth upholstery, alloy wheels, keyless entry with starter button, CD MP3 stereo, power accessories and not much else. All SRT models get a flat bottom steering wheel by Xenon, headlights, heated and ventilated seats wrapped in Napa leather and Alcantara, and 20-inch aluminium alloy wheels along with the usual accessories such as automatic AC, cruise control and fog lamps. Also available are a sunroof, racing stripes, rear sensors with camera, and the Uconnect touchscreen multimedia system with voice controls as well as navigation, hard drive and Bluetooth. An optional wide body kit is also available on the SRT Hellcat. Safety features include ABS, stability control, front, side and curtain airbags, lane departure warning, lane discipline system, blind spot monitor, TPMS, front collision alert and auto braking, and adaptive cruise control. It is still the best for American muscle. Nissan GTR On sales since 2007 The Nissan GTR carries on after it got a facelift inside and out for 2017 with more focus on comfort. It is still a class-leading sports car built on Nissan's premium mid-size platform and utilizing carbon fiber, aluminium, and steel components. The GTR gets the 3.8-liter twin-turbo V6 VR38 engine mated with a dual-clutch auto manual and all-wheel drive. In 2017, it received a facelift and further power was added. To celebrate 50 years since the launch of the first GTR, Nissan has released a GTR 50th Anniversary Edition package in 2020. The package offers three heritage exterior color schemes, blue with white stripes, pearl white with red stripes, and silver with white stripes. The colors are inspired by the KPGC 10 based race cars. The Bayside Blue is the first time Nissan is offering the famous blue shade from the R34 Skyline GTR model on the R35. Under the hood, the GTR 50th anniversary gets a power upgrade on higher track and Nismo variants. All 2020 GTR models benefit from a new turbocharger which produces less turbo lag. A special Bilstein Damptronic system uses all pertinent vehicle information to provide appropriate damping forces for all situations and helps maintain a high level of control for straight line driving. Also, it controls cornering and braking. Other standard features include HID headlights, LED front markers, LED tail lights, Brembo brakes, front and side airbags, run flat tires, launch control, and a CD stereo with Bluetooth and hard drive. The driver can adjust transmission shifts, shock absorbers, and the vehicle dynamic control or VDCR system with three button operated settings for normal, comfort, or racing modes. Also interesting is a computer system that shows a variety of useful and useless information such as cornering G-forces and acceleration percentage alongside various temperature readings. Each hand-built engine can vary in output compared to the official specs. 
Safety wise the car includes 6 airbags, ABS, stability control, traction control, electronic brake force distribution and seat belts with pre-tensioners. It is still one of the best for proving that Darwin's evolution theory applies to Godzilla. Lotus Elise on sale since 1996, which means it has been on sale for 24 years. The Lotus Elise is a super light sports convertible. In 2017, two four-cylinder engines were available: a naturally aspirated 1.6-liter and a supercharged 1.8-liter engine. Both are available with six-speed manual transmission. It gets go-kart-like handling thanks to its light weight as well as its aerodynamics and aluminium chassis. The soft top is standard on the Elise with the option of hard top as well. Standard options include lightweight aluminium passenger footrest, pro back seats, plain black leather of sun visors, lightweight aluminium footwell divider, black leather steering wheel, black leather gear lever gator, polished aluminium gear knob, handbrake sleeve and single CD or MP3 player with four speakers, immobilizer with remote activated alarm and a central door locking. Upgrade packages are offered for the Elise. The touring pack offers leather pro back seats, leather door panels, perforated leather door inserts, leather trim center console, handbrake gator, black carpet mats with embroidered Elise logo, noise insulation paneling, auxiliary driving lights, iPod stereo connection, trinket tray divider and cup holder. The sport pack offers Bilstein sports dampers, twin oil coolers, seven twin spoke ultra lightweight forged alloy wheels and pro back sport seats. Safety features include a driver and passenger front airbags, traction control system, and a torque sensing limited slip differential. It is still the best for pure sports car handling. If you stuck around till the end, thanks a lot. It means a lot to me. If you enjoyed this video, I'll be doing a whole lot more videos like this in the future. So leave a thumbs up and a sub would be amazing. Also leave your thoughts down in the comment section. My name is Jitin and I'll catch you in the next one.